1,000 years ago, during the golden era of Jujutsu, Sukuna was known as an imaginary demon. In reality, he was a human sorcerer with so much cursed energy that other sorcerers struggled to defeat him. After his death, he turned into a cursed spirit. Sukuna earned the title of the King of Curses because he is the most powerful cursed spirit. Sukuna is one of the main villain in Jujutsu Kaisen. He became a key character in the anime after Yuji Itadori swallowed his finger. However, there have been a few moments when Sukuna actually helped the main characters or acted honorably. Despite being a major antagonist, these actions add depth to his character and make the story more interesting. Before we begin, please press the like button and please subscribe to my channel and turn on all post notifications so you don't miss any daily uploads. Now, let's begin. One of the good things Sukuna did in JJK is that he helped Gojo. In chapters 236 to 238, Sukuna surprisingly shows respect to Gojo and seems to address his loneliness. Let's break it down. In this scene, Kashimo questions Sukuna about his satisfaction, considering that he split his soul and endured through the ages as cursed objects. Sukuna responds by saying he understands love, but finds it worthless. He asserts that he has never needed anyone to satisfy him. He lives by his own rules, eating, playing, and destroying as he wishes. If others can't grasp that, it's their issue. When Kashimo asks if such a life isn't dull, Sukuna disagrees, saying every human has a unique, fleeting essence making them perfect diversions until death. Despite this, he tells Gojo, you were magnificent. I shall never forget you for as long as I live. This shows that Gojo and their battle were significant to Sukuna, not just another fleeting experience. In his own twisted way, Sukuna did care for Gojo and valued their fight. During their battle, Sukuna seems to reflect on the concepts of ultimate strength and solitude, with thoughts that appear to be about love. These reflections likely came from Sukuna, indicating that he was acknowledging Gojo's greatness and paying him the highest respect. Through their fight, Sukuna helped Gojo by providing him with an opponent who truly challenged him, thus addressing Gojo's loneliness. Sukuna's recognition and respect for Gojo's strength offered Gojo a sense of fulfillment and acknowledgement. In his own way, Sukuna was complimenting Gojo and honoring him deeply. What do you think? One of the most heartbreaking aspects of this chapter is that Gojo seems genuinely happy about dying. Gojo himself said that his main goal going into this fight was to connect with Sukuna and say, Hey man, I understand how lonely it is to be the strongest. While this is sweet, it's also somewhat selfish, aligning with Nanami's view of Gojo, as someone obsessed with using Jujutsu. Interestingly, Sukuna seemed to understand Gojo's message during their fight. He enjoyed the battle and thanked Gojo for a good fight. By doing this, Sukuna granted Gojo's deepest wish, to be reunited with his loved ones in the afterlife. Even in death, Gojo is no longer alone, which is oddly beautiful. Sukuna, despite being evil, occasionally does something good. He helped Gojo find peace and companionship even if it was in the afterlife. This shows a complex side to Sukuna's character. 